Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic here, and today we go over levels 1 through 10 on the dribbling challenge and explain on how you're able to fix all your respawns in the workshop maps. I know a lot of you are having troubles with the workshop maps after Sonic's most recent update, and I'm here to help. Magus Mod is creating an update to help fix respawns in all workshop maps, and it also helps fix the free play, resetting the ball at midfield glitch. Uh, so if you're having that problem or any other problem with the respawns after the most recent Psionics update, this update from Bacchus Mod will help. So if you're not having any problems, just skip forward about a minute and you guys will be right into the best way to improve your dribbling mechanic in Rocket League. Alright guys, now that you have the file downloaded, the bakesmod.dll, we're going to want to move it to this location right here. Uh, I will link this location um, in the YouTube description so you guys are able to get there faster. Uh, so you don't have to go searching around for it. Uh, but first, you will actually have, I'm going to move it over there real quick. You will actually have a bakesmod.dll file already in there. You're going to want to delete that and then replace it with this uh, new bakesmod.dll file that will be linked in the description for you guys to download. Uh, this is from the Bakes Mod, Bacchus Mod um, Discord. So they've got a fix for all the workshop maps and making the training pool explosions not uh, take place and just have the ball instantly respawn like it used to. So very helpful. Um, and now we'll get back to the Dribble Challenge workshop. All right, guys, today we got another video going over the workshop map dribbling challenge number two by french fries in the workshop i'm pretty sure it's only for pc players so you xbox ps4 players i'm sorry about your luck but this is probably one of the quickest and fastest ways to learn how to dribble correctly so here we are uh new mode impossible mode has been added timed only whenever you fail a level or reset you go back to level Good luck repeating that sucker so obviously i'm not to that level uh so i'll continue and i usually do timed for the video i'm going to be doing some editing so I'm going to do casual. Uh, there's really no difference here besides obviously you get a timer. So I suggest everyone just do time. There's no real reason not to. Um, then skipping levels. In casual mode, you can skip to any level you wish to by flying your car in the glowing white circle at the start of each level. Uh, so you are able to skip levels when you do casual and not time. Um, but usually you just want to struggle through as that will kind of give you that guidance and uh, car con or ball control on your car. Uh, your dribbling will basically just improve so much from continually failing and eventually you're going to have to pass basically how it works. So it does get a lot of frustration. Um, you do get frustrated, uh, but it, it is worth worth the challenge. Um, so level 1 here is very basic. I mean, I didn't even dribble the ball there and you could tell it went right on through. So you, you really don't have to try too hard there. Um, level 2 is a bit harder. It is a little bit of a distance here. Uh, but you can practice kind of just keeping your, you know, ball straight on top of your car. Here I just, I don't know what I did there on level 3. We'll restart that one. I don't know, that was a struggle. But here's level 3. Nice and easy. Pretty quick, so there's not really a way to you fail that one either. Um, unless you're really new. Uh, level 4. Uh, it's a nice little round. Half a circle, maybe. Uh, it's not hard, but it's definitely going to be somewhat difficult for some of you guys that haven't had much experience dribbling. Um... So oh, I'm actually haven't done this in a long time because of the, the workshop maps being glitched and the fix just coming out by Bakes Bacchus Mod. So there was level five, um, and now we're on level six, which just has a rotating, uh, a rotating barrier, a wall here. So all right, now we got level six. We got a rotating wall here. Um, so I'm gonna take it left here, nice and slow, because you'll hit the wall. Uh, you'll hit the wall basically if you go too early. I did flick it at the end because I was starting to struggle. I think I would have made it, but uh, now we're on level 7, which I believe is just, you can see there's double rotating walls here. Uh, you got to take it past the first one and get past the second one. Barely gave it to me there. Um, and now we're on number 8, which is pretty hard. You have to keep it up in front of you and jump over the wall, basically, and catch it on the other side and dribble it across. Um, I believe this is number 9, which is probably one of the most difficult ones uh, to master as you do have to bring it up a hill and back down the hill without dropping it and secure it all the way back to the end. Um, and now we're back on number 10. 
Uh, this one, you pretty much want to carry it all the way to the edge, double jump, recover, catch, and bring it to the goal, and you made it. All right, guys, thanks for catching today's video uh, on how to improve faster using the workshop. Uh, today's was the dribbling challenge, levels 1 through 10, showing you guys how to improve a little bit faster and giving you guys the update on how to fix them respawns so you guys can get back in the action with them dribbling challenges and other workshop maps. Appreciate it, guys.